Hello everybody and welcome to Kaldenberg Consulting TV. I am your host, Brian Kaldenberg. We're now on part four of the Google AdWords series and today, well let's retrace what we've talked about. We've talked about how you need to have Google Analytics installed um, to be able to track what's happening once people coming from the Google <clears throat> search engine, what they do when they come to your site. We've talked about how it's important to do keyword research to find what keywords you want to advertise on. Um, we've talked about how to write your ads, how it's important to write descriptive ads because that increases your click-through rate, which, which Google takes into consideration in determining how much and how high, how much you have to pay and how high um, you can show on their search engine compared to the competition. And now we're going to talk about match types and ad groups today. And what match types are is basically Google lets you control what your ads show up for, for what keywords. If you use exact match type for the keyword, let's go back to the keyword fish oil pills, that keyword, they have to, the only way your ad shows up for that keyword is if they type in fish oil pills. If they typed in fish oil pill, your ad wouldn't show up. If they typed in omega-3 fish oil pills, your ad wouldn't show up because it's exact match type for that keyword, so that means they have to type in it exactly like that. Now, capitalization doesn't matter, but singular plural definitely matters. And then there's another match type called phrase match type. And what that is, basically if you had phrase match type on the word fish oil pills, um, you a keyword could be in front of that keyword phrase or a keyword could be behind that keyword phrase. But that keyword phrase still need to be typed in fish oil pills. But someone could search for cheap fish oil pills, your ad might show. Someone could search for omega-3 fish oil pills, your ad might show. Someone might search for fish oil pills benefits, your ad would show. That's phrase match type. And then the third match type is bull or broad match type. And that's where your ad, if someone typed in, if you're advertising on fish oil pills, uh, your ad could show up for free fish oil pills, uh, free fish oil, uh, harmful effects of fish oil, all sorts of phrases that have the words fish oil or pills in them. And broad is really, uh, it's really not very effective, um, but we use it just to give us ideas for what keywords we might want to include in our campaign and also find what negative keywords we want to remove from our campaign. So that's the three match types. Now, the only way you can control which ads run for your keywords is you have to encompass them in an ad group. And so what we like to do is we like to create an ad group. We call the ad group the exact keyword it is, and then we distinguish what type of match type the keywords inside of this ad group are. So if we're going to start, uh, let's say, exact match ad group for fish oil pills, we'll call the ad group fish oil pills and we'll put brackets around it. Then inside there, we'll add fish oil pill, fish oil pills, um, maybe other variations, pills, fish oil, uh, pill, fish oil, um, fish pills, fish pill. And then we write our ad, our three ads, catered to those keywords. All those keywords are pretty much the same thing, just different variations. And that way we can control exactly what keywords show up for our ad. Then we'll create another ad group with those exact same keywords in them, but we'll put brackets around this ad group, so, I mean, quotations, which is this, the uh, symbol for phrase match, and we'll put those same keywords in there, in this, inside this ad group that's got quotes around it called fish oil pills, and then we'll make all those keywords phrase, phrase match type. So we'll have fish oil pills with quotes around it, phrase match type. If someone types in omega-3 fish oil pills, our ad will show if someone types in, uh, uh, online fish oil pills, our ad will show best fish oil pills, your ad will show because phrase match type allows a keyword in front or behind. And what this does is you get data in, what you want to do is you want to use these, Google will show you what keywords people are typing in on this phrase match type and you, you might find that omega-3 fish oil pills is a very popular keyword. Instead of just having fish oil pills, your, your three ads created for just the fish oil pills, you, you, might, you might move that omega-3 fish oil pill keyword into an exact match ad group 
and you'll write three new ads for that keyword, and you'll, instead of just having fish oil pills in the headline or in the description, you're going to put omega-3 fish oil pills because that's more descriptive. And so we've talked about why if you match up the ad to exactly what the keyword search for, how that improves your CTR. And then the final one, you want to create an ad group for broad, and then so you don't have any brackets or quotes behind it. Put the same keywords in there, write your ads, and then monitor because you might, you're going to pull up some uh, key phrases even in broad that might be attractive to you and also some negative key phrases. And so next time what we're going to talk about is how you can identify negative key phrases and you can add that keyword as a negative so you don't show up for it. Um, for instance, fish oil pills, side effects, you might not want to show up for that keyword because that's just, that's, that, if you're selling fish oil pills, that might not be something you want. Or, uh, you know, there's free fish oil pills. If you sell fish oil pills but you're not offering anything free, you probably want to add free to your negative uh, keywords. And we'll talk about that in the next episode. So questions, I know this is kind of confusing. Um, this is probably the most confusing part is setting the ad groups and the ads up. If you have questions, guys, ask them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks.